Mr. Speaker, I rise today in opposition to President Biden's planned carbon tax, which would, quite frankly, kill the American economy. Now, nobody can dispute that America produces cleaner energy than our adversaries or our allies. That's not a dispute. When I was Secretary of Interior, I came in office, we were producing 8.3 million barrels a day and declining. After two years of President Trump, we were the world's largest export of energy. And oh, by the way, we reduced emissions. We had the record in safety because nobody produces energy more cost effective, cleaner than we do. So the answer is this. It's not to punish American producers or Americans for having a resource and using it wisely. But there are three absolutes on the carbon tax. First of all, the environment. Undisputed, it is better to produce energy in this country under reasonable regulation than to watch it get produced overseas with no regulation. That is not in dispute. Secondly, manufacturing economy. My good friend from Oregon reminds us that hundreds perhaps have saved on their electric bills. I can tell you millions have not. When I was secretary, gas was about two bucks a gallon. I think it's a little over that. And if anyone looked at their last year's heating bills or around the kitchen table at Thanksgiving, I think we paid a price. On our economy, what drives manufacturing? First of all, it's labor. We're not going to be competitive paying wages that China or India can pay. Secondly, resources. The cost of steel is about the same in South Korea as it is in Pittsburgh. Where America has the edge are two things, innovation and energy. And today's energy is going to be different than tomorrow's energy needs. Data storage, robotics, all require more and more energy. And that energy is not going to come from pixie dust and hope. National security. This is an area I'm familiar with. I've lost a lot of friends and colleagues overseas, primarily fighting for other people's oil and energy. I think it's immoral to send our troops overseas and fight for a resource we have here. A carbon tax makes America less competitive. It forces families to pay more for groceries that they're struggling in. And it also on our allies who now depend on low-cost American energy. Now we're going to do a transition to where? EV in China land? Does anyone realize that 85% of the critical minerals that power EV, lithium, nickel, processing, are all in China? So the very idea we would make ourselves less competitive and give the advantage to our adversaries, and who's going to produce energy? If it's not us, who will? I can make a list. Perhaps Iran, perhaps Venezuela, perhaps Russia. So we either produce energy in this country under our regulations for the environment, for national security, to run our country, or we cede, we retreat. So this carbon tax is a terrible, terrible idea. And Mr. Speaker, I yield back.